All right, so welcome back, everybody. So for this video, I'm going to show you guys how to play Super Rhino. Now, this game is definitely a kid's game. It's uh, by Haba Games, and they do a lot of kid's games, for sure. But just because that this is a kid's game does not mean, as an adult, you won't find this game very enjoyable. Because in this game, the object of the game is basically to build a tower a big, huge tower in the city, as high as you possibly can. And so it's a very dexteritous game. And so because of that, I think just about anybody will enjoy playing this game because whether you're a kid or an adult, you'll all have a hard time, obviously, building this tower without it falling over, obviously. So let me show you guys how to play this game. Now, this is a library copy, so I don't even have the box for this particular game. They they didn't have a box for it. But uh, the components, the walls here, uh, they're not in the best of shape. So there's no guarantees I'll be able to build a very tall building in this video. We'll see how high I can go. I think I managed to get uh, four stories high before it fell over. So we'll see how uh, well I do for this video here. So obviously, the objective of the game is obviously not to lose. And one of the ways you can lose is if the tower falls over on your turn so that's one of the ways you can lose and in a two-player game that would be that would mean the other player would win for sure now if you were playing with more than two players then it's the player who has the most roof cards left so each player is going to get starting roof cards okay if you're playing with more than two players everybody's going to get five roof cards and if you're playing a two-player game, then you're going to get seven roof cards. And the player, normally, if you're playing a multiplayer game with more than two people, the player who had the least amount of roof cards left that they weren't able to play would be the player who won the game, okay? But, uh, and clearly the person who caused the, the tower to build, even if they had the fewest roof cards, they would still lose regardless because it fell over on their turn. So that's basically the winning conditions and losing conditions of um, this game. Uh, so how do you play? Well, uh, first of all, the player who's going to go first has to build two walls. Okay, they're going to build two walls here. And that means they're going to need uh, two of these wall cards here. And they're going to have to put them on top before they can put their roof card on top of that. Okay. Now, there are certain abilities that uh, the roof cards provide as well, but when you place certain roof, uh, roof cards, certain things will happen. So, for instance, here's a roof card that has the rhino on it. So, if you're the player who's uh, going first, for instance, and you have successfully put the two walls on, well, then, you'll, then what you'll do is you'll place this roof card on top of those, okay? And then you'll notice this one has the rhino symbol on it. So if you're the player who plays this particular roof, then the next player, when they go, after they put the walls on the card in a particular order, you'll notice there is a certain location where these uh, walls are going to go. And for this one, the walls would have to go here, and one would have to go here as well. That's where they would have to basically go. Now, because my library copy is very used... It's not going to bend perfectly in that direction. But that's the object, is to get it just like that. And then, because uh, the other player was the one who played the rhino roof tile here, the player who's going next, after they get the walls up, before they're allowed to play their roof card on top, they're going to have to place the superhero rhino. They're going to have to place him as well. So there's a, a, an extra chance that the tower might fall over every time you place this rhino superhero. So basically, it's going to make it more difficult for the next player who has the this symbol here, the rhino symbol. So that's one of the card's uh, uh, abilities in this game. Now, obviously, there's different layouts for roof tiles. This one's got it in that uh, particular angle and... And those two in particular. Now you'll notice that this one has a plus one on it. If the player who plays this, on the next player's turn, the player who ha sees this before they start placing walls, they're going to have to grab an extra roof tile from the provisional pile. Meaning, now they have more roof tiles than they had originally, and so if they want to win the game, 
they're going to have to obviously place an additional roof just to win the game because now instead of having a certain amount, they're going to have an additional roof tile to use as well. They're going to have to take this before they build. So that's what's going to happen if you're the player who gets, uh, who uh, obviously has to deal with this, the plus one symbol. Um, if you were playing a, if you're playing more than two people and you see this purple little symbol hill here, it means that uh, turns rotate. So if you're going clockwise, for instance, and you're playing with three or more players and you're going clockwise, well, now it's going to go counterclockwise until another player plays another one of these uh, roof tiles. So it means that, uh, so if you're the one who played this tile, the next person go, the next person that would go is actually the person uh, that's, you know, to the left of you if you were going this direction. So if you were playing, uh, one particular direction, it might be the other player who's going next. So they might be going again sooner than they thought they would with this particular, uh, obviously, this particular roof tile out. And it will change again and again for every time this particular symbol here shows up with the purple uh, circular round thing. Okay, but in a two-player game, just ignore it because, well, there's no counter counterclockwise counter and, and, and clockwise, technically, when you have two players, it's still going to be the same players. Uh, then you'll notice this exclamation point. If you're playing this card here, it means the next player who's going isn't going to be the next player normally. If you're playing a two-player game, it means you're going to go twice in a row because this is basically telling that the next player, they're taking a rest. They, they're uh, taking a break on their next turn. They're losing their next turn. So if you're playing a two-player game, if you play this particular roof tile with the exclamation point, you're going twice in a row. Now, that might be a good thing. It might be the beginning of the game, and and so uh, you might have the advantage. You might be able to get more roof tiles played, and that might be something you want for sure to happen. And if you're playing with more than two p players, then obviously only one person gets skipped, and then the next person would go. So that, that's how that one would work. Then there's uh, uh, this one here with the red and the two in the X. When you place this roof tile here... It's actually going to let you place another roof tile right on top of it, meaning you're going to place them on top like this with two t t basically connected to each other. So a double roof basically uh, might even be necessarily be even be, be even stronger because it's more durable because it's got two now possibly. But you're going to get to place two and then obviously then whatever card was next would still affect the next player. So if it was the Rhino, that means they would still place the Rhino. Uh, the next player would still place the Rhino. But that's cool that you can do a double roof. Now, you can only, you can never do more than a double roof. So you can't, like, get two of these in a row and place two and then another one. That would not be allowed. So you can't do it that way. Um, and if it ever comes down to the point where you don't have another card, roof, another roof tile you can play uh, that isn't this, and you play this, then that means you have to basically ask one of your opponents if you can have one of their roof tiles. In a sense, you'll be helping them out if that's the case. So be careful when you play that. It could happen. It's a possibility, especially if you're playing with uh, more than two people. That could put possibly happen. But that's basically all of the abilities of what possibly could happen when you place a roof tile. There's obviously different things that could happen. That's basically how you play the game. Now let's see how well I do this game here. Three, four, five, six, seven, seven. So let me just mix these up a little bit. And uh, let's play the game just uh, briefly and see how high I can build this tower as a demonstration of how it's all going to work. So um, this is me. This is my opponent, and so I'll go first, and we'll see what happens. Ooh, and it's a plus two, so that's awesome. So first of all, let's go ahead and place my uh, my two uh, wall pieces here, and uh, we'll see if we can um, try to get these as uh, straightened as possible. moment of silence for this game because it's going to take all of my concentration to do all this. Okay, that's good. So now I can place two roofs at the same time. So this one will go on top of this one. And since I'm playing a two-player game, this doesn't mean anything. 
So then I'll place these two roofs on top of each other, just like that. And there's our first floor done. And so that's the end of my turn. And so now the next player, player will go. And they've got a plus one. So that means that um, me, as in player one, I'm going to have to draw an extra pot, another another roof card from the provisional pile. But anyways, let's let them uh, build their next section of the um, floor. Whoa, that was close. Kind of like that. Okay. And then they would place their roof tile. So it would go on top like that. Oh, that's a little off. Let me fix that. There we go. A little bit better. Now, before I can go, I need to draw one of these first. So now I have even more roof tiles to complete. Oh, and this one's got the rhino on it, so that means the next player is going to have to place the rhino down. Assuming it doesn't fall on my turn. Okay, I only have one, uh, this time, one wall piece I can place, which is not good because it's one of the hardest ones to do. Um, whew, close call. Okay, so now that you guys can't see it very well, let's go up a little bit. There we go. And place my roof down. Okay, that's the end of my turn, and it didn't fall over. Awesome. We've got one, two, three stories already. Not bad for a library game that's been played probably a hundred times, if not more. So, now... It's uh, obviously the next player's turn, player two, and they got the rhino as well. Awesome. But before they can place their roof tile, they're going to have to do the two walls, and they also have to place the rhino too before they can do their roof. So let's see how we do this. This is not going to be easy since they don't bend the way they're supposed to. Okay, and then I got to do the other one just like that as well. Let's go up a little bit, though. Okay, so let's see here. How am I going to do this? Okay. Okay. They succeeded at that, but before they um, before their turn is over, they have to place the Rhino Hero. He has to go basically here on this side. So you're not going to see him in the camera, but let's see if I can place him. And it fell over. And that was on Player 2's turn, so Player 2 lost. And I win because I am Player 1. Ha ha! But if I had managed that, if player two had managed that, I would have been in the same uh, pickle because I would have had to place the Rhino Hill right after that. So I probably would have definitely lost if it hadn't been for him first. So that's basically how you play um, Super Rhino. That is how you play it. So if you guys liked this video, uh, don't forget to leave a like. And uh, I'll, see you I'll see you guys again next time. Don't forget, favorite superhero, the Rhino. All right, see you guys again next time.